If your business has an organized electrical wiring interconnection systems program, commonly called EWIS, you may be working to achieve the goals of FAA Advisory Circular 120-94. A link to this advisory circular is included in the student guide. The AC stresses the importance of wiring inspection and promotes a philosophy of protect and clean as you go. So you may or may not be making dedicated wiring inspections, but keep wiring in mind as you perform daily routine tasks. Anytime you're working a job card or fixing a squawk, remember to include an examination of nearby wiring. During structural repairs, STC installations, or other alterations, make sure metal shavings, debris, and contamination resulting from such work are removed. AC 120-94 defines different types of inspection, including GVI, which is a general visual inspection and doesn't require touching wire unless access instructions specifically call for it. A DET, which is an intensive, detailed examination of a specific item, installation, or assembly. This level of inspection may require the removal of access panels, drip shields, or the moving of components. A special detailed inspection, or SDI, which is an intensive examination of a specific item, installation, or assembly to detect damage, failure, or irregularity. This type of examination is likely to make extensive use of specialized inspection techniques and equipment. Intricate cleaning and substantial access or disassembly procedures may be required. The AC also defines a zonal inspection, which is essentially a visual inspection of an area or zone. Oops, sorry, wrong graphic. But it is not directed to any specific component or assembly. MRO and Air Carrier Management may assign EWIS tasks using what is called an Enhanced Zonal Analysis Procedure, or EZAP, which is a logic scheme to be used by designers, manufacturers, and maintainers to identify and describe EWIS-related tasks. Finding problems on the ground requires diligence, vigilance, a flashlight, and an inspection mirror. You may even need a magnifying glass, a multimeter, or perhaps more sophisticated tools. Wiring inspection has taken on greater importance in the past decade as aging aircraft and several fatal accidents have been attributed to wiring systems.